Do you know what chas or namkeen lassi does to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Today I'm having 300 ml of homemade namkeen lassi or buttermilk. This has 100 grams of dahi or curd in it and should be around 60 calories. Let's see what happens. After having so many sugary drinks, this is a good change. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. Only 5 mg increase? This is amazing. This is as good as zero. This is officially the lowest glucose spike in the entire series so far. This does make sense because chas is basically water and dahi. And dahi barely has any carbs or sugar in it. Only 5 grams per 100 grams, which is very low. If the purpose of having these summer drinks is basically just to cool down, then why even go down the sugary drinks path? Because the one that gave the lowest spike among them till now was Nibupani. And that also had given a blood sugar spike of 28 mg. This is only 5. No comparison. In fact, this near zero glucose spike has only happened three times till now. This happened when I had raw cashews, chicken tikka and paneer tikka. That's it. Seeing this amazing result, chas or buttermilk is already one of the winners of this series, in my opinion. Because it is hydrating as it's got a very high water content. It's a natural probiotic. It's low in calories. It's got no sugar in it. And it barely increased my blood sugar levels. Which means that I can have it anytime. On its own also. And I don't need to pair it with a meal to bring down the spike, unlike some of the other sugary drinks.